All right, so it took a long time coming, but we're finally here. Elliot Friedman, at the end of yesterday's day one of the draft, said that Sam Reinhart was going to get traded over to Florida and Devin Levi would be part of the return. Well, take a look at this. Chris Johnson goes out here and he says the trade is official. Florida sends a 2022 first and prospect Devin Levi for Sam Reinhart. Now, you're going to go out there and you're going to say this. Okay, Sam Reinhardt, he's 25 years old, center right wing, 6'1", 194 pounds. The guy had a career year this year in terms of points per game and goals per game. 25 goals, 40 points, 54 games on a terrible Buffalo Sabres squad. What in the world is this? A first and prospect Devin Levi? Devin Levi was a seventh round pick a year ago? Well, you have to remember, Sam Reinhardt, is making zero dollars. He's an RFA right now, you need to sign him, so really what you're trading here is the negotiation rights to Sam Reinhart for a restricted free agent, a guy that wouldn't really have the opportunity to go out there on the open market. And, I mean, look, the Sabres were going out there doing extremely poorly. Sam Reinhart had 40 points. Everybody else, take a look at what they did here. There's only three guys in this team that scored 10-plus goals. Four, if you include Sam Reinhardt, times two. So, Reinhardt, legitimately good player over there, going over to the Florida Panthers in exchange for a first and Devin Levi. Levi, as we noted, seventh round pick in 2020. And he was part of that extremely stacked Team Canada that ended up losing the only game of the entire World Juniors at the very end. A 964 save percentage and an 075 goals against in seven games for that stacked Canadian squad, ultimately losing to Spencer Knight, fellow Florida Panthers goaltending prospect. If you're the Panthers, you're looking at Levi and you're saying, man, we already got Bobrovsky. We already got Spencer Knight. We don't necessarily need a Levi. He's just good to have in the system. But if you can trade this guy as well as a first-round pick to go out there and acquire Sam Reinhart, then this is honestly pretty cool. And you know what's even cooler is I take a look at the 2014 NHL entry draft and I say this. Okay, the top guys in the 2014 draft. Aaron Ekblad, of course, first overall, Florida. Sam Reinhart, second overall. Where is he now? Florida. Fourth overall, Sam Bennett, Calgary Flames. Where is he now? Florida. So the Florida Panthers have taken up three of the top four picks in the 2014 NHL entry draft. They're just missing Dreisaitl, baby. That's a joke. He's not going to Florida. Edmonton fans, please calm down. Try not to crucify me in the comment section below. But either way, the trade goes as follows. Sam Reinhart, the negotiation rights to this guy in exchange for the 2022 first-round pick from the Sabres, excuse me, not from the Sabres, from the Panthers, as well as goaltending prospect Devin Levi. I will say this, though. If you're the Sabres and you really thought that a goaltender is what you needed, why did you not draft Jesper Wallstead or Sebastian Kosa yesterday? You had the 13th overall pick, I think it was. You took Isaac Rosean, and to be fair, Isaac Rosean, I like him, he's a good prospect, but you had the chance of getting a Jesper Wallstead in that same spot, or even a Kosa if you wanted to, because the Red Wings hadn't picked, that was at 15th overall. I mean, you waited a little bit to get the goalie a day after, and it happens to be Devin Levi. If you really thought that a goaltending prospect is your number one priority, then I think it would have probably been a little bit better to maybe use a pick earlier on. I mean, Roseanne was taken right before Kosa and a few picks before Wallstead as well. So who knows what the Sabres are doing, but either or, Reinhardt has been traded for a first and Devin Levi. Talk to me in the comments what you think of you enjoyed this Vidisha Rolls 99. And bye.